that I refer to. Welcome to Pacifica Wire. In this episode, we talk to Laulu Mac Leawanai, Secretary for Pacific Peoples and Chief Executive for the Ministry. Laulu has held key positions in the public sector within health, business, led projects for the Pacific region, and now leads the Ministry with a team of more than 150 staff. Laulu talks about the Ministry's ongoing commitment to ensure the voices of Pacifica are heard and the initiatives are reflected within policy and delivered at government level. He talks about his drive for Pacifica to thrive, be prosperous, resilient and be confident as Pacifica in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Yes, my name is La Ulo Mac Lamanai. I'm the Secretary for the Ministry for Pacific Peoples and the Chief Executive also of the Ministry. I've been in the role since July 2017. So I've been here for, for a little while. Um, and the primary focus for our agency is to make sure the voices of our Pacific communities are heard and uh, the initiatives that have come out of those voices are delivered and delivered well. Laulu, you've played a major role, key roles in, in health, in the Pacific region, in business. You've been at the helm of the ministry since 2017. You're a key figure, a leader within the Pacifica community. What led you to this career in public service and what was the passion, the drive to, to go into this sector? You know, um, the, our parents in that generation of Pacific um, of the, my parents came in the, the 60s, um, the late 60s. Mm. And so they were part of that um, Sa'ili Malo, Sa'ili Mangwia, you know, the, the, the desire for a prosperous, prosperous uh, future for families. And so uh, my father um, hails from the mighty villages of Iwa and Fa'ala in Tawai, and mum from Siumu Sa'amapu in Tolu. And uh, my drive and desire um, for things specific um, are largely driven because of their journey as uh, migrants to this country Mm. and the hardships and the difficulties, but also the blessings uh, that they uh, achieved and endured um, um, here in New Zealand. So when you're growing up, there's a uh, out west Auckland, Massey, uh, as you uh, go to church and, and see and hear the experiences of uh, like-minded Samoans in uh, West Auckland, I went to Henderson and Fakasa. And then, you know, we go through the experiences as Kiwi-born, uh, New Zealand-born mm. uh, high school and, and the challenges of school and your identity, those things just, you know, when you see your parents uh, thrive and uh, with the limited resources they have, they were able to buy a home, a roof over my head, there was no lack um, for me, even though, you know, we weren't the wealthiest and, and I didn't get everything that I wanted. I didn't go on all the school trips. I didn't always have the stationery. I didn't always have the latest shoes. You know, sometimes there was food on the in the first on trip. There wasn't. Yeah. Um, but there was a real love. I saw what my parents did, and so that that's a real driver um, for uh, my work. And then when I'm here at NPP, the work that my colleagues have. And so you're right. I have a very uh, experience. It's interesting that the journey that I've gone on from healthcare management to the private sector with work in the Pacific region to then leading a small provider in the Pacific Cooperation Foundation, the projects we did in the Pacific funded by foreign affairs. I think it was just a natural progression sure. to come into the Ministry for Pacific Peoples. There's, there's a continuum. It's been a long journey for the ministry mm-hmm. from its, for its 30 years and and supporting uh, the government as the principal advisor on all policies and interventions that impact and may improve outcomes for Pacific peoples in Aotearoa, New Zealand. Um, It's based on the statistics, we still have a long way to go. 
Mm. Um, when you look at the baseline of where we sit as a community, uh, from health to education to wealth, house, home ownership, to our languages, our culture and identity, there are elements where we're still quite poor. Yet, the ministry has been able to do a few um, important pieces of work to support um, the system, um, to support the government, to provide better policies that impact on our communities. So, one of those things has been uh, the Kapasa Pacific Policy Analysis Tool, where it was co-developed with the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet DPC in 2016. And it's a, it's a policy framework that supports agencies to develop um, policies, programs, and services uh, that integrate Pacific peoples' perspectives so that it's meaningful, that's effective for Pacific people. So mm. we would run workshops to support other agencies so that they provide better policy. Now, the other one piece of work that you know aligns with this the, you know, uh, impact on, on on policy for the government is Yavi as another uh, document that complements the Kapasa framework, yeah. but it, it, it assists agencies to engage with Pacific communities so that they have a more meaningful way or in a culturally appropriate ways of engaging with our Pacific communities. And I think um, since I started in uh, 2017, probably the biggest piece of work that I've been able to lead has been the Pacific Aotearoa La Langa Report. Right. Um, and in this report, what we did was we engaged with our Pacific communities throughout the country to provide a vision um, and strategic goals um, for a new Pacific because the Pacific Aotearoa, Pacific in New Zealand now, 60% are born and raised in New Zealand. Right. So there's a sense that this is home for many of our community. There's no longer that sense that my parents had in the 60s and 70s that you know, the, the sense of, I'll be here in New Zealand to get this money, and then I'll return back home to Samoa. Mm -hmm. Many of us here, like this is home. So we, we went about, engaged with over 2,500 Pacific people and came up with a vision, which is we are confident in our endeavors that we are thriving prosperous, resilient uh, Pacific Aotearoa. I mean, we had four strategic goals, thriving Pacific languages, cultures, and identities, A goal two, prosperous Pacific communities, goal three, resilient, healthy Pacific communities, and goal four, a confident and thriving, resilient Pacific young people, because we're a young, uh, young population. And what La Lama Folu has been able to do is outline to the system, to government, how best uh, we deliver initiatives for our community and deliver for Pacific communities. In terms of the long before, we've still got a bit, bit of work around how we measure that impact, and that's where our research and evaluation team will play a significant role. It was really powerful because then you could say, you know, not definitively, but, uh, you know, a long way to say we know the voices of our people. Sure. You know, like, um, it, yes, we didn't engage with all 380,000 or 400,000 of our Pacific communities, but we met with a large portion or, you know, a, a mm -hmm. big community. And what we found interesting is that, yes, there were regional differences because there are, um, you know, there are different themes and things that were happening per region. But it was also interesting that so many threads were so similar. Right. Um, so, for instance, when, when I think of our languages, and you, I, I think, oh, yeah, the out of wherever they're based in the country will want to ensure that the languages are important thing. Honestly, the use throughout the whole country, it didn't matter whether they were in Auckland, South Auckland, or whether they were in uh, Ashburton, the importance of language and culture was just came through so strong. Yeah. It, was so, um, it was so powerful. And so, yeah, yeah, we were all over the place. The team, uh, the family uh, worked really hard to, to make sure that we capture the voice. And so what then ends up happening is that when we're here in Wellington, and, you know, we're not conceptualizing things. Right. We're not going, well, this research says, or this thing says, we're actually saying, actually, no, 
our people are saying this. This is what they're saying, what our people are saying. So by the time the Lama and the Fall report landed, there was no surprises no. that this is the vision for our people, that these are the four goals for our community. And so that if we as a government are going to impact on Pacific, we have to ensure that our initiatives align with these four goals so that we can achieve this vision. So the, 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 there was so much um, power. But, but then it was, wasn't just a, you know, engage in 2018 and you see you later. Yeah. There was there's an ongoing mm. conversation that we build and we thread and we continue to la langa um, as we try and make sure that we don't just get caught up in whatever initiative that we have, that it's always in continually improving. That was Laulu Mac Lawanai. You can listen to the full podcast with Laulu on Spotify. Thanks for listening. Visit our website at www.pacificawire.com. We welcome you to like us on Facebook, LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pa'afatai, ma'i manawiyah.